You know, as I was doing laundry today, I got to thinking, and this is probably going to get me in hot water with all the women folk out there, but I was thinking how long it takes a woman to get ready. Okay, sorry about that guys. In the middle of my thing of laundry, I had disaster happen. My main rope broke and everything come tumbling down. So now my daughter is headed to the Dollar Tree to get me some more laundry rope. Rope to hang the laundry on. But, where was we? Oh yeah, that's right. Women could be so slow getting ready, right? It's hot and humid out here, so overlook my sweat. But then again, in 99% of my videos, I'm sweating anyway. But yeah. Give you an example. I could talk about my lovely wife, okay? We'd be getting ready to go somewhere. And I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, get up and I get ready. And she's like, yes, I'm ready. Then next thing you know, I got to use the bathroom. Or, wait a minute, I got to go over here and look for something here. Or she'd be sitting there on her cell phone. Or she'd be at her laptop computer. She always takes anywhere from five to ten minutes to get ready to go. So I thought I'd be smart one day. I was like, you know what? I get I, under, I get what you got to do, you know? Sometimes it might take one longer. So I was like, okay, let me know when you're 30 seconds out because it takes me exactly 30 seconds to get ready to go. Let me know when you're 30 seconds is, you know, when you're, when you're ready to go in 30 seconds. We'll do that. So we tried that, right? Nuh-uh. <laughs> Try that. It doesn't work. No. So guys, I'm asking you, do you, do you have a significant other? It could be a girlfriend, a wife, a sister, a mother, or whatever the case may be. Do you always seem like you're waiting on them when you get ready to go somewhere? You seem like you're having to wait on them? I don't want to sound like a male shoving his pig here, because it's not that at all. It just seems like in my family, it's the women folk that take forever to get ready. And that, you know, that goes along with stores too. You know, we'd be in a grocery store like you take the Dollar Tree. Give you an example. Yesterday we had to go in there and get one item. We get in there, we go to get the item. It's like, oh, I might need this, I might need that. And I was like, holy smokes. Oh, honey, honey, we have about three other places to go. We're on a time frame. But it won't take long. I love my wife to death, but holy smokes. Sometimes I think she moves in two speeds, slow and stop. I know that's a mean thing to say. And when she watches this video, which she will, I'm in the doghouse. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit of poetic justice, though, okay? Even though I'm sitting here telling you all how long it takes my wife to get ready, which is all true, but I'm going to tell you some poetic justice at the end of it. And... It kind of evens itself out. But let's go ahead and talk more about this. Yeah. No matter where we go, my wife always seems to take the longest. Always seems to take the longest. It, it, could, it could be in a grocery store. It could be leaving a friend's house. It could be leaving from home to go somewhere. She always seems to take the longest. There's always something she needs to get. Something she needs to do. Use the bathroom. Oh, I got to get this. I got to get that. And yes, some of these things are important, you know? Like maybe she has to grab her cell phone or she has to grab some coupons and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But seriously, always give her, always let Ange know. I say, honey, we're going to be leaving in about five, ten minutes. Be ready. Oh, I will. No problem. Only, the only thing I got to do is this. Well, when I get up to get ready to go, I was like, honey, honey. So I'm usually standing there with the keys in my hand waiting and usually I have a treat in my hand for Stormy because I like to give her a treat before we leave because I spoil her right so I'm usually standing there in front of the door for about five to ten minutes waiting for my lovely wife to get ready holding the car keys in my hand and the treat for Stormy and Stormy sitting on the floor like holy smokes aren't you leaving already I'm sitting there it's like honey what is it she's like I, I I'm hurrying I'm hurrying I love her to death, but holy smokes, I spend, I figured it up, okay, about 10 minutes, and we go somewhere every single day, okay, this happens on a day-to-day -day basis, so, whoops, the camera almost fell out of my hands, so I figure about 70 minutes a week, okay, remember these, remember these figures, 70 minutes a week, I spend on waiting on my wife, 
Now, time for a little poetic justice. And this is something my wife pointed out to me the other day. A lot of times when I go over here to the park to walk, my wife loves to come with me. Because there's lots of picture opportunities down there, okay? And plus she likes to sit in the park and stroll around. On occasion, she might walk with me. But she loves to come because you see lots of deer, lots of picture opportunities. She informed me the other day, she's like, honey, you know, all the times I got to wait on, or you got to wait on me, I wait on you about at least an hour each day. So what is it, honey, about 70 minutes a week? What is it for me? About six hours a week? She got me. She got me good. I got no comeback to that. None. Because it's true. So leave me comments down there, guys. How many of you all wait on your significant other? It don't have to be a wife and girlfriend, like I said. It could be a brother. I mean, it could be a sister. Oh, my gosh. I think I've had too much sun. And I just seen my boss go down the street. <laughs> Sorry. It caught my attention for a minute there. Um, but anyway, how many of you guys uh, spend lots of time waiting on your significant other? Now, uh, real quick, I want to address something real quick. Uh, some of my videos are going to be long, okay? I'm doing a video every day, and I think I could do this, but some of the videos I do may be, God, oh my God, long. And some may be short, okay? And some may just be me doing, going throughout my day. Today was supposed to be one of the videos. I got to think, I was like, shoot, I'm going to see if I'm the only one that out there that has to wait on my wife. I know I'm not the only one. I'm sure there's others like me. So, yeah, plus disaster. My clothesline broke. That's okay, though. Elizabeth's getting a new one. Take me a few seconds to tie the new one up, hang the pants and towels on it, and I'll be good to go. So leave me comments, and always remember, some of my videos are going to be long, some are going to be short. So until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And, hey, I got some really good videos coming up, though. Oh, yeah. Some really good ones. I don't know. For some reason, my video brain is in overdrive. So I got some really good videos to come up. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Because personally, I think I got an okay channel. At least sometimes. So until next time, come on. Let's get out of here. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. And guess what? Now you all can send me mail. That's right. I got a post office box. The link is down in the description. Probably right here too. And yeah, I can actually get some mail. It could be anything. Postcard, spam mail, it doesn't matter. I just want to hear from you.